after years of research, a large number of Chinese UFO scholars, including myself, are convinced the authenticity of UFO, the existence of UFO and aliens. To testify the existence of the UFO and aliens, I think we're just going to go down the road and uh, down the row, and then we will come back and ask questions. Uh, Dr. Shelley, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Congresswoman, Congressman, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Sun Shili. I am from the People's Republic of China. I am the president of the World Chinese UFO Federation. Our federation serves as a communication platform for the global Chinese on all aspects of UFO, including those in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, and abroad. Uh, we have uh, 1.3 billion people in China, and uh, on top of that, we also have a lot of overseas Chinese. That means we have a very big uh, federation. I also wanted to point out that uh, Chinese people consider ourselves as the descendants of dragon, and dragon is from out of space in the Chinese culture. So in the Chinese culture, we are from uh, out of space as descendants of dragon. Secondly, we call our land as the land of deities or the land of gods. And another uh, principle in the Chinese culture, which is also important, is that we seek the harmony between people and heaven. So. Uh, descendants of the dragon, uh, the land of deities, and the harmony between people and uh, heaven are uh, very relevant with uh, the hearing that is taking place today. My career is in international affairs and international economics, and I have been uh, working in the government. I have been a diplomat and uh, a university professor. But since the 1970s, I started to spend time on the sub subject of UFO and the study of the mysteries of the universe. Since the establishment of the China UFO Research Institute in 1980, I have been actively involved in the leadership of the largest UFO organization in the world and the leader of the World Chinese UFO Federation. So I have been a witness to the history of China UFO research and also a spokesperson or an advocate, if you will. Since 1990s, I participated in a series of international conferences in Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and uh, many other places, engaging in uh, academic exchanges. I've also been interviewed by many international uh, media on China UFO research development. This media include uh, AP, BBC, CNN, NBC, uh, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Los Angeles Times, Christian Science Monitor, Times Magazine, and uh, the most prestigious science and technology channel, Discovery. Of course, in addition to that, for many years, we have also been interviewed by the Chinese state media, Xinhua, and uh, the CCTV, and many other Chinese media. So, for the past 33 years, it's been uh, a very hard time for Chinese UFO scholars, but we are still committed to the study of this subject, and we have gained a lot of great results which is reflect, reflected in the following aspects. First, everyone on this planet is looking for our roots in the universe. We have the right to know, we have the right to discover. Uh, the mission of the Chinese UFO scholars is to help our citizens realize 
and uh, implement their right to know and their right to discover. Any attempt to cover up is unacceptable. Secondly, uh, statistics of the China, China UFO groups show that people involved in the subject of UFO is an overwhelming scale. According to our statistics, in China, out of 1.3 billion people, we have close to uh, tens of millions of people who are UFO enthusiasts. And those who are interested in UFO subject or believe that UFO exists uh, account for half of the Chinese population, which is about 500 million people. A group of senior scholars in the China UFO Research Institute come from uh, various backgrounds that include scientific research agencies, aerospace, aviation, manufacturing, astronomy, uh, and uh, many scholars are very prestigious uh, scholars in the society. For example, uh, scientist, a scientist uh, who is actively engaged with us, uh, Mr. Chen Xuesheng, Wang Ganchang, and uh, mathematician Mr. Chen Jingrun, and a very famous uh, astronomist. Uh, we are working with these people uh, frequently, and um, we actually have uh, more than 100,000 members. Uh, this is a very big team, and we are all contributing our share to uh, the study of UFO. Thirdly, after years of research, a large number of Chinese UFO scholars, including myself, are convinced the authenticity of UFO, the existence of UFO and aliens. To testify the existence of the UFO and aliens, uh, I have also uh, written articles that have appeared in uh, China's uh, encyclopedia, which is also a, a very um, prestigious encyclopedia in China that was edited by uh, Mr. Qian Shuishen, a famous scientist in China. So, we believe the existence of UFO, we believe the existence of aliens and extraterrestrials. For many years, uh, after our research and investigation, we have recorded some uh, third kind uh, cases, including uh, the Fengshan Mountain incident, the Feishang incident, the Beijing Caogong incident, and the Duxi Farm incident, as well as uh, interaction uh, with the national civil aviation system and the military with uh, outer space. Fourth, China has the earliest and the most recorded cases of uh, the third kind in the world. The earliest can be traced back to 12,000 years ago, prehistoric records carved in ancient stone plate. According to our studies, up to 5,000 years of written history, there is a wealth of suspected mystery, you, uh, mysterious rather, UFO-related data and files, including ancient uh, data from uh, the ancient uh, local governments, official documents, history, ancient scientific literature, or even in civil literary works. We see all these records, which prove that UFO does exist and also proves the real existence of the interaction between UFO and humans. 